Well, this kid, he's our age, but he's fat, real fat. He weighs close to 180, but, you know, it's not his fault. It's his glands. But one day he gets an idea. The greatest revenge idea a kid ever had. Young Master David Hogan. Are you all right, young man? Hey, Lardass, how was your trip? I hear you got a big appetite, Lardass. Don't even think about winning this. Boy, are you fat. Don't pay any attention to those fools, Lardass. <laughs> Just Davey. I... <laughs> Go! <laughs> If you want to hold out, boy. Come on what the audience didn't know was that Lardass wasn't really interested in winning. What he wanted was revenge. And right before he was introduced, he'd gotten ready for it. Celebrity contestant from KLAM in Portland, the boss man. Done! Lardass! 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 Diving into his fifth pie, Lardass began to imagine that he wasn't eating pies. He pretended he was eating cow flops and rat guts and blueberry sauce. Lardass! 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 Slowly, a sound started to build in Lardass' stomach. A strange and scary sound, like a log truck coming at you at a hundred miles an hour. Suddenly, Bardess opened his mouth. And before Bill Travis knew it, he was covered with five pies worth of used blueberries. The women in the audience screamed. Boss man Bob Cormier took one look at Bill Travis and barfed on Principal Wiggins. Principal Wiggins barfed on the lumberjack that was sitting next to him. But when the smell hit the crowd, that's when Lardass' plan really started to work. Girlfriends barfed on boyfriends. Kids barfed on their purse. The Donnelly twins barfed on each other. And Lardass just sat back and enjoyed what he'd created. A complete and total barfarama. <laughs> <laughs> 